up, guys? Randy with Ace Tactical. Today we're back with Phil from Underworld Arms. Phil, thanks for being on the channel again. Uh, we're shooting the 425 Springfield Prodigy Underworld Arms Comp. If you guys haven't seen the five inch video yet, go ahead and click on that, check it out. Um, but anyways, we've got the 425 on the market now. They are sold out. Um, Phil will talk about more when the timeline of having more will come in. If you buy it, it's gonna come exactly like this, this bag, you get the compensator, you get everything you need to install it. A little Allen key, the locking blocks, the screws, and then some Loctite. So everything you need, you will get. Uh, we also ran some comparisons today. So the 425 Prodigy with the Underworld Arms Comp was a more fair comparison to put up against the Cicado XE versus the 5 inch. Um, just because it has that longer barrel, more mass, it's probably going to have less recoil. You guys will see in the footage to come. Um, I won't go over it too much. You guys will see in the footage to come how the comparisons how they stacked up against each other. I will say, I think the recoil impulse felt very similar across all the guns. Uh, we did the Underworld Arms, the Staccato XC completely stock, and then I have DSC Gunworks, uh, their fixed barrel comp on the 425. We also ran a Prodigy with no comp at all as kind of yes. our control. Yeah, we did run a completely stock Prodigy. Um, you guys will see all the comp models definitely more effective than having a stock Prodigy. Um, I would say me personally, Aside from the triggers, they all felt very similar to me as far as recoil impulse and shootability. All right, guys, four and a quarter Prodigy. This is a stock Prodigy, completely stock. We're going to do five controlled rounds, then we're going to let it rip five rounds. Watch your angle. Oh, yeah. All right, four and a quarter underworld arm comp. Uh, looks like Phil has some work done to the gun. So the trigger will probably be a bit nicer. Again, we'll do five controlled and then we'll let it rip with five. All right, we have the DSC comp. Uh, I haven't shot this gun since I put the DSC comp in the fire slide release, so hopefully it works. All right, Staccato XC, completely stock. Trijicon SRO, Hollow Sun PID. Chess, just over a hundred dollars and the underworld arms comp i was very happy with it phil do you want to talk about underworld arms um timelines anything like that uh yeah uh so we actually released these four and a quarter on friday they sold out in a couple hours that first batch we've got another batch at the end of our shop right now so if you didn't get one but you'll be able to get it soon um upcoming stuff we've got this new uh, angled double port kind of looks like a sand viper uh, this is the first one off the machine. We're doing the run right now, so a couple weeks for that. We did not get any shots on that, um, so if you ask any questions, we won't be able to answer them. I haven't, we haven't shot that yet. What do you think, Phil, about modifications to right here, like adding a gas pedal, anything like that? Do you see yourself doing any sort of... We actually have a couple ideas. So what we're going to do, it's, it's very thin. We tried to keep it as low profile as possible, so you don't have enough mass to screw into. So we're going to do a new style of lower that has a little bit more... It'll have pre-drilled uh, holes that you'll be able to add either a gas pedal or a fixed red dot mount, kind of the race style mount. Um, 
We're also kind of toying around with the idea of doing a steel version. I've had a couple people ask. It'll be longer machine time, slower feeds, but... Um, Probably a little more money. Of course, yeah, because <laughs> feeds means more labor costs. But, for weight... Exactly, some people back for weight. Now, when I designed it, I wanted it to be as light as possible, but some people, some people want a heavier feed because heavier will make it flatter. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much why I run lights on my guns, other than be able to see things at night, extra weight in the front, to make it run a little flatter. However, these are aluminum. Yes. Even with the aluminum, you guys will see that it's pretty flat, um, pretty comparable to a Staccato XC, I would say. Phil, you have anything else to add? Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, man. Appreciate you. Yeah.